Welcome to another episode of Strategic Minds Making Money Moves, where we take those strategies to get that green. I'm so happy that you joined us today. I have a great guest with me, Erica Chisholm, and we're going to talk about the power of art and what it really means. Hi, Erica. Hi. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. I'd love for you to share with our audience about what you do. Okay, so I am E.O. Chisholm. I'm a fine artist, muralist, designer, art activist, and creative placemaking specialist. And what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so I, um, I'm a painter. I still work in art galleries. I paint murals in predominantly like black spaces. I like to, um, but I also have like murals on the build line. Uh, and design, there's definitely a design element into all in all of my work. Uh, art activism is using art to create positive social change. Um, and creative placemaking is creating place and helping uh, increase walkability and decrease blight in blighted areas. Awesome. So, who are your who are your your clients that you normally serve? Who goes after this? <sighs> My clients are um, pretty fluid in a gallery. Uh, definitely, I'm looking to sell to a family, um, <clears throat> husband and wife. Uh, murals, mainly uh, like black owned businesses. I've worked with a few corporations because um, I have like a service industry background. I'm really good at communicating and listening and understanding what people are asking for, even when they don't know what they're asking for. Um, and for the most part, in the painting business, that's my audience. Okay. How do people find you? Um, Google. Tell me more about that. What would I Google if I was <laughs> looking for someone to do a mural? Is it just looking for a mural artist? What would I look for? Um, to find me, I'm on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, my business name is EO Creative LLC. So you can actually Google my first and last name or just EO Chisholm and my business will pop up. My social media will pop up. My website will pop up. I'm there. Awesome. Well, now that's the first beginning. That's awesome. And, you know, I think there's so much to be said about the arts and we all know it as something to bring us together. Mm -hmm. it is a, it's something that is, you know, um, it gives you the warm feelings. You can cultivate experiences around it. And two people can look at a piece of art and see two separate different things, right? And it can be a great conversation piece, you know, in terms of getting conversations. Um, when people, when you're looking at projects, I know one of the things that you wanted to talk about today was really around, how do I get funding for this? How do I get more sponsorships? How do I get people to really want to pay for projects that I have to do? Um, Cause you're not a 501c3, are you? No, I'm a business. Okay. So being a business means that you really have to find those that believe in your cause and want to contribute to what you do. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is um, it takes so much research to find the people that their mission is art. Their mission is bringing community. Their mission is wanting you, is wanting an environment that people can talk about and have a wonderful experience mm -hmm. to experience that art. You know, I think about when, um, when they did the streets in DC and you know when we talk about LGBTQ and we're doing the rainbows and you know all of the different experiences that we see I think about in Atlanta where we have murals of famous people that we're we don't want to forget or that we don't want to lose the presence of what they've done you know the MLK is just beautiful um, and and having that um, having that opportunity but as it costs money and we have to find people that believe in it, it really means we got to go to grants. Mm -hmm. 
we have to get the opportunity of getting grants because we're not a 501c3. We can't say, oh, you give to me, you can write it off for charity, mm -hmm. right? It does, you know, it's not that way, but it's about, I am a foundation or I am, I believe in the arts. I want to support artists mm -hmm. in terms of what they do. Are there any particular conferences that you go to when you are um, in your artistry? Um, I have not been to, uh, many conferences, but like I take, um, I'll take like a class, like a maker's class or like right now I am a uh, art leader of Metro Atlanta. So I'm taking these courses and working with um, developers and um, different businesses and companies to create, help create place and even learning and like listening to seminars. Uh, because there's a lot to learn, like, because art is so fluid. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things. Uh, so that's what I do to receive more information. That's awesome. And you're getting your name out there. And that's what I want the audience to hear today is that even though art is something that we don't, as a business, we don't think about, you know, what that really means. Putting yourself where you're in the city of Atlanta, where your name is known, where people get, you get to meet the people who are making the decisions, who can't afford to pay and pay that money to help you keep going. You know, they're going to know who Erica Chisholm is. They're going to know the quality of what you bring and what you do. Do you work alone or do you have other people that work with you? Um, for the most part, I am a solepreneur, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but I hire other artists to help me. Um, I hire people that are, that are, that think they want to do murals because it's like, they look nice at the end, but they, <laughs> it's hard work. Um, <laughs> so I, I hire different people. Um, and sometimes I let kids or like students help out too, uh. So yeah, but mostly it's me from design to the end. I'm there and present. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to take a station break. When we come back, we're going to finish this conversation about how we continue to have that growth. We'll be right back. Strategic Minds, Making Money Moves with Vicki Wright Hamilton focuses on helping entrepreneurs to overcome their business challenges to help increase their bottom line. Each episode provides strategies for growth and transformation. Watch Vicki share her 20 plus years of experience as a corporate executive to help entrepreneurs level up. Welcome back. So as we were having conversations, you know, I had, um, as I was looking and understanding a little bit more about the mural business, because I didn't know, all I know is I go by a wall and it's a beautiful painting, right? I had no idea what went into it, right? And, and really trying to understand, you know, um, I started looking at streets of different cities. Mm -hmm. um, New York has a foundation um, that they actually cultivate giving grants to artists, and they want to promote the artists within their foundation um, the members of the, that uh, that they contribute to, and they want to help to promote them so that they can continue to do designs in the streets and bring communities together and clean up areas and things like that. And so I would, as I was looking, it was like, oh my gosh, there's so much foundation money out here, but you got to get in, right? You got to have somebody who can write those grants. You got to have somebody who can go in and ask for that money. Do you have a grant writer? Do you have anyone that can actually write these proposals for you to say, look, here's what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, what I'd like to do. And I'm looking for funding to make that happen. So personally in my business, no, like not somebody that I can call readily, which is something I should probably look into, but um, working with like, um, I work with economic development nonprofits. I work closely with nonprofits that uh, I give them the idea and the work and the mock-up and they um, present it and then they say, okay, we have this much grant money for you. So I have people to get grant money for me when it comes to certain projects like that, but personally for jobs and things that I want to do, like to um, give away because I believe in giving to receive. So every year I give away something that's timely and expensive. Um, I would look into having a grant writer to find me somebody to help me like uh, paint for black businesses that can't afford a mural because mm -hmm. they are kind of 
expensive. Oh, yes, they are expensive. <laughs> I remember when I was looking online, I was like, oh my gosh, because it depends on how much space you right, have. Is that definitely. right? Mm -hmm. And what that space and looks the like footing. And, and the square footing and all and of that. And the detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to pay for this very um, meticulous, like outline, itemized. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to do a mural? So for me, um, I put myself on a, a deadline. So like I'm like a five day max type girl when it's like um, at least like I could say 10, 15 feet, 10 mm -hmm. feet by 15 feet, like about five days. Um, I've painted a very, very, very long wall in about 14 days. Wow. Um, I like to do three days, really, but uh, nothing more than two weeks. I um, really put the pedal to the middle and I like, I, I go like, and then it's quality. I start with the um, design and whatever the design is after it's approved, the mural will look just like what you saw okay. before. Wow, that's phenomenal. I mean, this is a phenomenal concept, you know, in terms of taking forward. Um, and looking at organizations that are providing funding. Now, you said that you do work with some nonprofits that will have so much grant money for you in terms of moving forward. You know, I was actually thinking, you know, I'm always thinking about things that, you know, what is the craziest idea you can come up with? Because isn't that how people make money? I mean, that man made, made so much money off of happy. All we did was sing happy. I mean, really? Happy, 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 happy. And I'm like, heck, I could say happy, 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 happy. Pay me that money, right? So the craziest ideas can come from that. So one of the things I was thinking about, you know, um, as we were um, having our conversation and we were talking, I started saying, you know, how can you help other people make money with what you do? What does that look like? Helping other people make money? Yeah, meaning how do I help you raise funds and for your business by doing what I do, right, for you? Is there a certain um, ad I'm doing? Is there a certain, you know, um, result that I'm painting? Is there a message in that painting? Is there something that, you know, just something, uh, I mean, really crazy ideas but thinking about how can I leverage this to go to the next level? Because I believe what you have is not only a gift, but when you take students and you take others that are just loving art and just painting, and they love to tell a message, they wanna tell a story, right? And that's what your art is all about, is telling a story. Mm -hmm. How can you help others tell their story in a way? Because I'm thinking about the nonprofit sector, right? They can give you grant money to do what they need to have mm -hmm. done. But how can they also raise money off of that? Is it something that you can do and then afterwards they can raise money? I don't know. Just something to kind of mull around and think about as you're thinking about how to expand that business um, and, and take it forward. Thoughts? So, um, so... Let me just like reel it in a little bit. So how okay. to monetize um, the mural after it's done, mm -hmm. like after it's been paid for, how can we continue to make money yes. after it's finished? Yes. Um, great question. <laughs> like sometimes we'll host like parties or like uh, food trucks can come and other people can, vendors can set up. Uh, all of this has happened before. Like. A, an event like around the mural um, or even like uh, taking the digital design which is something that I don't do but I can tell you that this is something that can be done take the the digital design uh, put it on the blockchain NFT put it on a t-shirt put it anywhere that it can be um, I did a mural with Adult Swim and uh, and the mural uh, it's supposed to only stay up for about six months, but my mural is staying up for about two years. Mm -hmm. And they just covered up someone's mural to replace it with another mural. And he took his mural and he made a painting of his mural to like, he replicated the mural. So like I could replicate my mural, that it's up for two years and it's a really, it's a really nice mural. Or I could like take the digital design and print it and make postcards or posters like and sign them. And then that's more money. Oh my ways. gosh. Okay. We're going to take a station break. We'll come <laughs> back. We're going to pick up from this because I think there's some ideas that you can take to even take those things that you can make money and expand even further. We're going to see if we have a question in our audience when we come back as well. We'll be right back. 
Strategic Minds, Making Money Moves, with Vicki Wright Hamilton, focuses on helping entrepreneurs to overcome their business challenges to help increase their bottom line. Each episode provides strategies for growth and transformation. Watch Vicki share her 20 plus years of experience as a corporate executive to help entrepreneurs level up. Welcome back. So I, this conversation is really intriguing to me because as you think about even making, you know, making money and, and using multiple revenue streams, you know, partnering with art supply stores, partnering with paint stores, partnering with um, construction as you're doing and, and all of that allows you an opportunity that um, you could get them to sponsor certain things for you too, right? In terms of, you know, you provide me the paint and the paint brushes, right? In terms of what I'm doing um, and um, how you can actually work out those business models. And I know it's really hard because you're not a nonprofit and, and I don't propose anybody to be a nonprofit that truly believes they have a business. Um, because you should leverage your business for what you can do and move forward. There is an organization called Alternate Roots. Okay. Have you heard of them? Um, it sounds familiar, Okay, but I don't know. So Alternate Roots is an organization that actually wants to help artists grow. And they want to take your vision and your strategy, and they want to help you and sponsor and give grant money and funding to be able to do things. So you might come to them with a project idea. And let's say that that project idea is for a black business that can't afford it. And you say, look, I want to provide these three murals. Here's what I'm doing. Here's the purpose of why I'm doing. And it's going to cost me $30,000 to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to be able to apply for that money to be able to make it happen. So they look for artists for what you want to do in your business and take it forward. Wow. Okay. So um, you might want to check them out as well. Um, there's a, num number, a number of other um, district foundations that um, even though that they're giving grant, you have the opportunity to present a proposal mm -hmm. of what you want to go towards that. Now, not everybody is that way, obviously. Some of them are very targeted, but I do think that that's a way for you to get some of your personal projects taken mm -hmm. care of. I commend you on working with um, city officials and working with um, and working in that environment and expanding your wings um, to work with construction and to work with others that are trying to really build art because um, that's where you're gonna get it in one location. But I will also tell you that you're so talented that if you ever decided you want to travel I am sure that you could get lots of opportunity other places. There are so many cities that are now looking at how do I paint the how do I paint the streets to bring a different feeling? How do I clean up neighborhoods, right? How do I um, help serve the underserved with hope by doing this, right? So I think there's a lot of things you can do in that arena as well, as well if you ever decide that you want to expand. Out of, out, of, out of a particular geography um, because everybody's trying to figure out how do we make it a better place? It's how do we become true. happier? How do we bring joy? Yeah. How do we bring community together and overcome these times of challenges that we have had, you know, from Black Lives Matter to all kinds of things, right? Um, we really want to overcome that. And as um, I was watching an episode um, uh, the other day and there was a police officer helping to plank paint a mural and they did it as a community project. Mm -hmm. And this, the kids that were in the neighborhood that watched them paint this mural came up and, and told them that now I feel like you're a part of me yes, and that you're not against me. Yes. That is so, so beautiful. powerful. Yes. That is so powerful. And I was like, wow, look at this, this community effort that's come together. So please don't stop doing what you're doing. It is, it is wonderful. And I know that the business can continue to move forward. Let's see if we have a question or a comment from the audience. Hi, my name is Renika Ward, Ms. Ba Ba Boom. I am a fashion organizer and artist. So I am absolutely loving your business <laughs> from artist to artist, right? Um, the question that I have for you is, what was your initial inspiration? It's a two part question. And the second part is, has your inspiration changed throughout the course of your career? That's a wonderful question. Thank you for asking. Um, initially, 
So I grew up in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, and I consider Birmingham, Alabama to be culture rich and art poor because they don't champion art. And growing up, I would hear, um, don't be an artist, you're not gonna make any money to your day. <laughs> and I would just kind of laugh it off. Um, so I moved here when I was about 14. I'm really inspired by the city. Um, I wanted to do art for social change. I started out as a um, art major in college. I changed my major to sociology after doing a facial on one of Trayvon Martin's lawyers after he was murdered and had a conversation with her. And I pivoted, I shifted. Uh, and I understood that development was coming. Development will be coming for the place that I was from. And I'm like, I don't want them to develop without me. Um, I want to do art for social change. So coming to like becoming a muralist um, is almost like it came to me uh, later. Has my inspiration changed? It has not. I have to continue to tell myself to um, like come back home. Like if I feel myself veering off because I figured that like the mural industry is a gimmick. So like you have like, I've worked with multiple brands like uh, Maker's Mark, Cream of Nature. When you work with these brands, it's like, oh, wow, they're ready to pay whatever. And it's like, okay, wonderful. And then you kind of get lost in the sauce. And it's like, but why did I come here? I came here to help make, help create plays and make uh, black communities walkable for black people before gentrification, decreased blight and increased public engagement, using tactical urbanism projects and public art and bringing uh, murals and fine arts to the streets because I know that in places that are blighted where parents have to drive 30 minutes to a grocery store where it's a food desert, I understand that they are not taking their children to the art museum to be able to see that like, um, to see art or even understand that the world belongs to you. The world is yours, you can have whatever you want. I worked in the airport for um, a long time, like for while I was in college, and it allowed me to meet all these different people from all over the world with all of these different jobs and occupations. And every time I would get an idea, I would say bigger, bigger, bigger. Like, because in this world that we live in, you only meet the people that are in your industry. You rarely meet other people, so I took that opportunity and I was like I can do whatever I want and so can you. That is absolutely the truth. I I adore you. I adore <laughs> what you're doing and I hope that you will never ever stop. Um, that making change like this is powerful but take that strategy to the next level because you've only just begun. Will you thank me uh, and thank you my guest today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Strategic Minds Making Money Moves, where we talk about strategies to get that green. See you next time.